And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, you have to think, Stuart, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's natural goal-scoring presence could make the difference here. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal-scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno stands between the posts. Granit Xhaka plays with Mohamed Elneny in central midfield. And operating in attack today, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And they kick off here. Gabriel Elneny Buendia Ings Emiliano Buendia well, The timing was perfect Ball one An attack full of promise and the cross not quite imaginative enough. Lacazette. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Committed challenge. So a throw in here. And Lacazette. And the cross goes in. Wonderful header, excellent goalkeeping, and the danger still on. Cash getting in there to take it away. Defensive efficiency personified. Consa Emiliano Buendia. Buendia. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Ings. Just cutting off the supply. Good vision. Can he get onto this? But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Promising looking ball. Not to be this time. An alert intervention. Emiliano Buendia. And dispossessed. Promising looking attack. 
and space for him to cut in but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end poor pass under no real pressure Ramsey has it well as you can see from the possession there's been little between these two teams it's been a really tight and cagey affair you just hope it opens up a little and that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks El Nenny Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang Arsenal pushing forward with options available but ultimately up a cul-de-sac routine really John McGinn and War El Ghazi. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Must be. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his... So the ball is rolling again, Arsenal trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? El Nenny. Jacker with it. Kieran Tierney. Gabriel. El Nenny with it. Now Callum Chambers. Jacker with it. Tierney. Granite Jacker. El Nenny. At times they make passing look easy. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Ings. It's there for him. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Short corner favoured. The cross played over and work to do defensively. Well, no damage done. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Defenders need to cover. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. A reminder tickets for the next game are available Ings. after today's game. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Granite Jacka. It's a weighted pass. And possession given away. And the idea with that ball to play it to Lacazette. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Lacazette. And he takes it away. Into the final 20 minutes. Ings. And the attacking options appear plentiful. A chance to whip it in.
Well, this is building up to a nail-biting finish. These Arsenal fans are making so much noise. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Just 10 minutes to go. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Nicely cut out. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Ings, determined defending. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. And they will make the change now. So the corner played into the box. Well cleared away. Now can they create something? Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance. And the fans are lapping this up. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Buendia. It's with Douglas Luiz. Are getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Could cross it in here. Well, he successfully got past him. Foiling them effectively. So there goes the final whistle. It ends at a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. So, fruitful as far as Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is concerned. How would you sum up his performance? Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.